ALD TV on Holiday Bash Show 2008. So shortly we'll be on the air, but we're just Jack is just fine tuning the lighting. Okay, no. okay. This is Crystal's role. She will. Everyone's fabulously prepared, Jack. We're not gonna watch this now. Just try to distract the audience. Distract the audience. <laughs> look, look, you're not supposed to see this. <laughs> Need to be yeah. where I was. <laughs> this is called reality. Is this good? Is this good? Because it's it doesn't it doesn't take much to write the script. <laughs> Live from Plano, Texas. It's the holiday bash. Jones is a stand-up comic. So, Deborah. State, um, the only vegetables I saw growing up were my grandparents. <laughs> the other girls had last names like Bonavita, Caprigalion, de Guglielmo. I come to find out that all means the same thing in Italian, big knockers. <laughs> my mother used to watch me getting ready for a date and she'd say, you know, if you wear all that eye makeup, you're going to wind up pregnant like your cousin Linda. <laughs> Years later, when I wanted to start a family, my husband couldn't understand why, you know, right in the middle of it, I'm like, just a minute. <laughs> I have an aunt who's always mispronouncing things. The other day, she says, oh, cranks, Debbie. I went to the gynecologist. He made me have a damn monogram. I hate those things. I thought, ouch. You know, I pictured uh, three initials stitched across her left boob. Speaking, speaking of boobs, I am married to a sax player. <laughs> Over 20 years now, he works nights and weekends, of course, and I work days, so that's like five in musician's years, you know. <laughs> but not much has changed, um, except maybe the hair thing. He's bald and I have a beard. <laughs> um, we're considering a procedure where they take my hair and craft it to his head. It's called a, um, a chin connect to me. Um, we're all getting old now. I heard Woody Allen is 73. He's going to be remaking some of his movies like, you know, everything you always wanted to know about sex, but oy vey, don't ask. And um, the sequel, Granny Hall. And, uh, a one-act play called um, Blanks Over Broadway. Um, how about this recession, huh? This is really bad. And I know we're having to cut back. We can't afford groceries, but thankfully my husband you know, brings me treats from the weddings and bar mitzvahs. You know? <laughs> and so I can make quite a meal out of Jordan almonds and a net full of rice. Um, but, you know, he gets to the gig and he uh, hits the buffet table and brings some food, stashes it in his sax case. And three o'clock in the morning I hear, Honey, are you awake? It's salmon, your favorite. <laughs> Oh, salmonella. <laughs> 
Um, we don't have any kids, but we have a dog. Her name is May. She may or may not bite you. <laughs> she is um, part terrier and part pit bull, which means, you know, she just loves constant attention when she's mauling children. <laughs> and I think it's better we never were parents. I mean, can you imagine it would be like, you know, if the kid does something really bad. Okay, choose your punishment. Mommy's jokes or daddy's originals? <laughs> yeah. Stop that or I'll make you play with the dog. No. Eat your salmon or you won't get any wedding cake. <laughs> but I'm glad the holidays are here. I love the holidays and um, mainly because I love to shop and you know, I try to get my husband in the mood for Christmas by taking him to the Galleria, of course, you know, he is so cheap that um, everything I pick up, I'm like, how about this, honey, you know, he gives me that cut sign. And he says, you know, you don't need it, or um, it's too expensive, you know, put it back. And so I think the next time he wants me to put on a little mascara, you know, I'm going to tell him, you don't need it. It's too expensive. <laughs> Put it back. Put it back. Okay, so we're gonna hear from uh, we're gonna hear from Tony Hakeem in a second, but I don't think Tony's ready, so and since he's not ready, let's just go to a commercial break. I won't sleep 
at night till I hear you say, all I ever need is you. All I ever need is you. Show. That was last year. This year is the variety show, and we do have variety. Well, you probably don't know that my dear colleague, Dr. Kenneth Bateman, and I, who have been practicing side by side for a decade, has another talent. And he's agreed to share his talent with us this evening. This variety show, which is kind of a little like 2008 Vaudeville. Yes. He's right here. Ken, are you ready? Yeah! Hey. <laughs> well, this is, uh, this is Wally, and this is the dummy. Stop that. Uh, this is my dummy, my friend uh, Wally. Uh, you a little confused? No, not. Uh, you know where we're at? No, where are we? Well, we're at uh, Jack and Heather's annual bash. Say, listen, you know, it's a Christmas party, right? Yeah, hey, I like Christmas, you know, and uh, I like to see these good people who are having fun. Well, say, is there some cute girls here, too? <laughs> well, they not, you know, behave yourself. You know, we want to be good tonight and not embarrass ourselves. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't mind embarrassing you at all. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. I didn't think you would. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of nice people say, uh, what are you getting me for Christmas? Well, you know, Wally, I really hadn't thought much about it. What, what do you want? Well, uh, actually, what I want is uh, that girl back there. <laughs> what, what girl back there? <laughs> You know, that one back there in the green? The, the one in the green? Yeah, I think her name's Melody. <laughs> Melody? <laughs> Melody? Please, you don't know her. Yeah, not yet I don't. <laughs> well, listen, uh, that's not nice. You know, you, you've got to behave yourself tonight. Oh, I will for a while. I do like my girl. In fact, I wrote a song about her. And uh, with all this talent of singing, I thought maybe I would sing too. Now listen, you carolers, I'm already taken, so don't try to get me. <laughs> I, I think you're, I think you're safe, Molly. You know. Um, okay, I'm going to sing you a song about my girlfriend. Okay, go, go right ahead. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Okay. What's wrong? You forget the words? <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what happened. Yeah. 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 Rich girls, they ride in their big black cars. Poor girls, they do the same. My girl, she rides in a Model T Thor. Thankful, isn't it? But she gets there just the same. That's pretty bad. I got one there thirst. No, I don't think we can stand it anymore. You want to get it anyway? I was afraid of that. <laughs> Rich girls, they wear their sweet cologne. Poor girls, they do the same. My girl, she wears no cologne at all. But you can smell her just the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Uh, yeah, I noticed you've been having trouble with my memory. Wait, 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 wait. Um, memory is a, a tough thing, and you know, have uh, have you been having trouble? Yeah, I, I really have, and uh, you know, somebody said I should go see a therapist, and I did. And the therapist said, uh, well, you know, everybody thought he's got a, a, a photographic memory. Really? Yeah, like, like take Gary there, you know, the caroler? He's got a photographic memory. Well, I don't, I'm not surprised at that. Trouble is, he don't have any film. <laughs> He's got film. Really, your memory can improve if you
you just work on it. Yeah, and uh, you know, I think that uh, Melody is just the person to help me work on it. <laughs> no, no, she's not going to work on it. But you know what? We've got to go because time's moving on. So, uh, you want to sing one more song for the folks? Yeah, I'm going to sing a Christmas song. Do you know some religious Christmas songs? Yeah, I do. Grandma got run over by a caribou. <laughs> that's, that's not a Christmas song. Well, I'm going to sing a song that the carolers sang with apologies to them. <laughs> I hope this won't damage your baby. <laughs> well, it won't damage your baby. But she'll be <laughs> Look at her, she's nervous. <laughs> well, okay, so what are you going to sing? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, Jack Frost knitting at your nose, You'll tie Carol's things and die a choir. <laughs> Thank you, my mouth got stuck in my nose. <laughs> Like Eskimos, everybody knows a turkey. That's you. And some mistletoe. <laughs> you know, at the party last year, they wanted to hang Ken and kiss the mistletoe. Makes a spirit cry. <laughs> Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of good toys and goodies on his sleigh. You ought to know the words. And I'm sure to start to see if the reindeer really know. I mean, caribou really know. <laughs> and so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from the one to 102. You know, we're living longer now. <laughs> Although it's been said many times, many ways.
another set of Jack Walden Meyer you didn't know. You will never see again. again. <laughs> this set of Jack Walden Meyer actually was born when he was in uh, the third grade. He came home. And you can see I'm still in the third grade. <laughs> with a report card, and the report card had all A's, but he got an F in conduct. And his dad looked at his report card and he said, you got all these A's and... But what is this? You got F in conduct? I don't know. He never did tell anybody and he told, until he told me a few years ago. It was really boring outside uh, at recess on the playground. You know, just the same old swings and stuff going on out there. And he had an idea. And he got some of his friends and they said, okay. So they went back into the classroom because there were no teachers around. And he got his friend, friends to put together all the desks in the room. And he stood on the desks and he started to give a comedy stand-up routine. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher came in, he got an F for conduct. They were told to put all the desks back. So this is a father-daughter duo. It's Jack and Jennifer. Oh. Ball players really unusual names nowadays. Funny names. Funny like names? Ah, oh, couldn't be any more funnier than my name, Sebastian Dindy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Funnier than that? Oh, shit. Woo! Now, on the St. Louis team, hang on a second. <laughs> 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 I'm an audio guy, I can't help it. Okay. On the St. Louis team, we have who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find out. I want you to tell me the names of the fellas on the St. I'm, Louis I'm team. I'm telling you, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. You know the fellas' names? Yes. Well then, who's playing first? Who? I mean the guy on first base. Who? The fella playing first for St. Louis. Who? The first baseman. Who's playing first? What are you asking me for? I'm not asking, I'm telling you who's playing first. I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first baseman. Who is on first? Have you got a first baseman on first? Certainly. Then who's playing first? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pay off the first baseman at the end of the month? Who gets the money? Every dollar of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 
Because. Oh, he sent it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a picture? Sure. St. Louis has got a good picture. Oh, absolutely. You gonna tell me the picture's name? Tomorrow. <laughs> you don't want to tell me the name? I'm telling you, man. Uh, then tell me who's picture. Tomorrow. 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 What time? What time what? What time tomorrow you gonna tell me who's pitching? Now listen, who is not pitching? Oh, thank you! I'm gonna you come up here. I don't know, what's the pitcher's name? I don't know, third base! <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see what else we got. Let's yes? St. Louis has got a good catcher? Today. Today? Today. Today. That tomorrow's pitching? Yes. That's all, St. Louis has got a couple D's on their team. That's well, all. I can't help Maybe. that. What do you want me to do? You got a catcher? Yes. I'm a good catcher too, you know. Yes, I know. I would like to play for the St. Louis team. Well, I might be able to I would like to catch. Now, me being a good catcher, tomorrow's <coughs> pitching on the team and I'm catching. Yes. Tomorrow throws the ball and the guy you bunts the ball. Yes. Now, me being a good catcher, I want to throw the guy at first base, yes. so I pick up the ball and throw it to who? Now, that's the first thing you said right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about! <laughs> I said throw it to first base. Yes. Now, who's got it? Naturally. <laughs> Now you've got it. So I pick up the ball and I throw it to Naturally. No, you throw the ball to first base. Then who's got it? Naturally. Okay. <laughs> so I pick up the ball and I throw it to Naturally. No, you throw the ball to who? Naturally. That's it. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up the ball and I throw it to Naturally. No, you throw the ball to first base. Then who's got it? Naturally. That's what I'm saying! I'm not saying that. Okay, so I pick up the ball and I throw it to first then base. Then who gets it? He better get it. Whoever it is drops the ball, the guy runs to second. Another guy gets up. And it's a long and it's a long fly ball to be cut. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He's on third, and I don't give a darn. Say what? I said I don't give a darn. <laughs> oh, that's our shortstop. Where's my Whoa! pianist? Where's my pianist? That's it! your kind attention and now a special guest to finish off this wonderful <clears throat> vaudeville show and uh, I hope that this special guest, guest is ready she is ready all right ladies and gentlemen our mystery guest this evening Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.